make a start. First of all, I must apologise um, for the absence of Nick Johnson, the Chief Executive of Clear Up, um, who's uh, been having a... He claims apparently he got it from his daughter. Um, some bugger up. <coughs> totally wiped him out until yesterday he was intending to come from this company couldn't get out of bed. Um, so, you have me instead. I'm Nick Rushby. I'm the editor of the British Journal of Educational Technology. Um, and uh, in a sense, I'm, I'm kind of the reason why we have this seminar. Um, the, there is an arrangement between Wiley, who publish the British Journal of Educational Technology, on behalf of Bera, um, that each year we either have something like um, a BJET fellowship, which is what we had last year, um, or we have a seminar. And we decided we would alternate them. So last year um, there was a fellowship which looked at the use of iPads um, by uh, academic staff at Huddersfield, um, produced some very interesting results. This year we've got a seminar, um, Ethics in the Light of New Technologies. Um, seems to us to be really quite an important topic. I'm not sure how um, far up everybody's levels of consciousness, obviously it's a fair way up your levels of consciousness because you're here, and thank you very much indeed for coming. But generally speaking, I'm not sure whether um, some of the things that you're here today have actually percolated through to educational researchers and to ethics committees. And there are certainly some horror stories going around. Um, I mean, well documented, not just apocryphal horror stories, but some well documented horror stories of how new technologies have come up to bite educational researchers. Um, so it seemed to us to be a hot topic, and so here we are today. As I say, thank you very much indeed um, for coming. Um, I need to take you through just one or two of the usual domestic housekeeping bits and pieces. We'll start off with absolutely the most important thing, which is, is what to do in the event of fire. Um, there is no scheduled fire alarm test today. So if you hear the bells, um, it's the real thing. Do try and keep up, because I'm out of that <laughs> turning to the left. There is a meeting going on in the room at the end of the corridor. Forget it, we go to just go straight through them. We go down the fire escape, which is at the end of that room, so down one floor, and we meet, uh, the assembly point is outside Waterstones Bookshop in New Street. Now, Waterstones is a jolly good place to meet inside. I believe they've got a coffee bar, but if you could wait outside until we've called the register just to make sure that we're all there, we haven't left anybody. Um, I know educational researchers are, you know, to a penny, but we don't want to lose anybody. Um, <laughs> so that's in the event of fire. Um, as you came in through reception, um, you turn right in front of the reception desk, went down a little, little ramp, you turn right again. That's where the toilets are. Um, I would guess everybody either spotted them on the way in or um, they're, they're reasonably well signed, you won't have too much, you won't, won't have too much to do with it. Um, judging by the coffee cups, everybody's discovered where the coffee is. Um, we have hot and cold running coffee and tea and water and stuff like that at any time. I haven't scheduled in any specific coffee breaks. So um, if in between speakers um, you feel the need um, either for a quick comfort break or a coffee break, um, I, don't, I can't guarantee there are going to be any cakes left. Um, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll take, it'll take two or three minutes anyway for people to get the new PowerPoint um, set of slides um, lined up. Um, so just coffee whenever. Um, lunch is going to happen um, at 12.45, if I remember. Somebody look at their program, is that right? Yeah, 12.45. Yeah, 12 and that'll happen outside. Um, so we don't have very far to go. Um, I'm reminded that we should all turn off our phones, um, or at least put them on to vibrate. Um, I'm really quite understanding, I hope the other speakers are as well. Um, there are times when uh, you know, the phone goes and absolutely you've got to answer it. Uh, and if that's the case, you know, just hop outside. 
phone reception in this building is, is really quite good. I don't know whether anybody else knows. Um, it used to be Orange's, the network operators, headquarters um, in the UK. Um, they had these rooms for their training centre. And as they grew, and they ran training events elsewhere, they started operating as a training centre. It used to be very nice, there was an orange um, shop downstairs, it sold laptop spares and all sorts of things. If anything went wrong with the technology, you could just go downstairs and, and get it. That's gone now. Yeah. Um, we have Wi-Fi. Um, the signal for Wi-Fi signal for Discover, um, if you look at the list, is pretty good. But anything that's in the, um, the studio, um, that custom first uh, password, that works for it, that works for them all. So just pick your network and get on if you want to um, Wi-Fi. Now we had a, a pre-seminar seminar last night. Um, those of who are lucky enough to uh, be staying at the, the Premier Inn, at the right <laughs> Premier Inn. Both Premier Inns. <laughs> 10 o'clock last night was the time we discovered that there are in fact two Premier Inns um, for, city, for Birmingham City Centre. They're about five minutes walk apart. <laughs> and two of us were in one and the other one, uh, John was in the other. And we didn't, none of us realised that there were two. You know, so I was sitting at the bar saying, you know, this lady better hurry up or she's not going to get a drink. And Jill was saying, I've been stood up, I've been stood up. Um, and it didn't help that I didn't have the right mobile phone number for Jill. <laughs> so um, we have a pre-seminar seminar. And what transpired is that there are in fact some things um, that some speakers might want to say, um, which we probably don't want to to go outside this room. Um, in particular, I think you've got a case study where, which is going to be easier if you if you name names. Yes. Um, but we'll edit afterwards. You know, just don't take that information any further. That, of course, presents a problem because our friend at the back is is videoing this. Um, so I've had a, I've had a, a chat with him, and he's going to do some editing. And if we find, um, you know, if one of the speakers or in discussion, one of you wants to say something that um, you don't want on the video, preface your remarks by saying you don't want this bit on the video. Um, and he'll edit it out. May not be a very tidy edit, <laughs> just chop that block out, and then <laughs> jump cut. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think that I think that's better than um, all the time thinking. Oh gosh, you know, it's going to be videoed. Um, that could be embarrassing. So, so, so. just in the chat house rule, that's fine. Yes. So, just to clarify, are you suggesting that we shouldn't share anything that's happening in this room outside this room? <laughs> so, no, no, no tweeting, no blogging, nothing like that. No, it says all part thereof. Okay. Okay. But, and so, I'm not suggesting that the entire seminar is covered by the chat house rule. But if there is something that you feel should not, then for that little bit, just say. Sure, but, but in practice, that's after the fact. So how do we know what you can and can't share until afterwards? Because, we're, gro because we're grown up people. Okay. And we're probably, in, in the case that I'm talking about, I'll just send it beforehand. Okay. okay. Sure. Next video. Thanks. Um, I mean, clearly, there's nothing we can do to enforce this. But we're a small enough group, you know, we're um, all concerned about ethics, otherwise we wouldn't be here. Personally, I came from public, but never mind. Um, and, uh, you know, I think we just, you know, try and, try and observe that as, as the ground rules. I was, I was looking at that motto, and the, this is a great place for mottoes, you see them on, on the walls all over the place. You can discover more about a person in an hour of play than a year of conversation and post it on the internet. Um, doesn't say the last bit, but that was that was what was in my mind. Okay, um, are there any other bits of housekeeping, introduction, whatever? Um, that any questions that anybody wants to raise, or are we comfortable to, to continue? Have you all got a copy of the full program in front of you? Yeah, this is a, a four-page, four-page, three-page. 
If not, some other people. There you go. I don't propose to take time um, now to sort of go around everybody and sort of say who you are and so on and so forth. We've got plenty of milligram around time during the day. Um, I think you know, suffice to um, that, you know, we introduce ourselves personally.